Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well today. So I just wanted to quickly jump on here and just intro this video. So this is gonna be my bathroom transformation vlog. I'm so excited to finally share it with you. So if you are new here, then I literally am obsessed with interior. I love designing things and this bathroom, I completely put together the, the design myself. I just looked at things like Pinterest. I went to a few show homes. I just, yeah, came up with all the ideas, put it together, told the bathroom guy what I wanted doing. And then he discussed with me the best steps steps and what to do that sort of thing and then we you know the bathroom was done so yeah I'm really excited to share with you the whole process I personally find this sort of content really helpful and just really interesting because I'm literally going to share with you everything every single step all the reasons behind things as well and why certain things are done and what it looks like and all of that which might be helpful for any of you out there who are thinking about getting your bathroom done too because there are so many things I didn't know that I've learned along this journey so yeah I think it's really interesting and I really can't wait to share with you what the bathroom looks like honestly I'm so happy with it guys literally so so happy with it so yeah let's get straight on into the content so guys this is what the bathroom looked like before and obviously this was the bathroom when we bought the house so it had a shower and then also a bath in there and because it's not the biggest of spaces it was just very very cluttered you can also see there was lots of mold build up and it was just getting old and needed to be refreshed we did discuss just kind of renovating the existing bathroom and just changing little bits and pieces but keeping some of it but we decided in the end to just rip the whole thing out and start afresh so yeah it had a jacuzzi bath which you would have seen but that didn't turn on um the flooring like needed regrouting and things like that it had underfloor heating which just absolutely rinsed the energy bill so guys excuse my voice i am full of illness but this has been put up the stairs to protect the carpet basically which is obviously really handy um to prevent any like marks and dust and damage and then this is the bathroom today so it's day one he was here from about half eight until about three so yeah this is what it is looking like at the minute so obviously everything has been ripped out you would have seen the before the lights have all been kind of like pulled down as well as you would have seen before the bath was here the toilet was there the shower was there you can actually see the lines of it and then the sink was here so what's going to happen is the bath is going to go along here and um, there's going to be like three cutouts in the wall i don't know why it keeps not focusing the toilet is going to go here and then the sink is going to be on this wall with a big mirror and then this wall here just this little wall here next to the door is going to have a heated towel rail radiator because we used to have underfloor heating in here which we've got rid of because the cost of running it is just extortionate so yeah that is the bathroom so obviously i'm going to be documenting it each day to show you the progress this is obviously the worst it is going to look tomorrow he's doing a lot of like carpenter I can't speak carpentry work and building some bits on the wall to support the alcoves I think they're called like the cutouts in the wall so yeah as you can see the bathroom is no longer so guys it's day two I thought I'd give you an update again excuse the sound of me I am literally midway through being ill so so as you can see a lot has been done today so we've got all the cables wired this is going to be for the sink this is for a big mirror that's going to be light up and then they've been put all the way through to outside as well. Uh, but I'm very scared, like I'm not gonna touch them or anything like that. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine though. And then basically this wood has been put there and that will kind of be built out into a stud hall, I think it's called. So there'll be plasterboard put on the front of that to hide all the cables and that sort of thing. And then over on this side, this is where we're gonna have them three cutouts. So we were trying to work out earlier the sort of size I wanted, which is why we've got all these diagrams on the wall. But basically these three like rectangles you can see will be cutouts in the wall. And then there's a mirror behind the back of them lights coming through which is why he's put the cables at the top there so yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing this come to life over the next few days and then over here he's popped this in which will be for the shower so he's had to chisel a bit of the wall out to put the pipe in for the shower so yeah he's made a lot of progress today it's so interesting seeing all the behind the scenes and seeing what has to be done so yeah this is basically how they start making the little cutouts of the wall that you see so have to build an actual frame for it and then also my bath has arrived today it's in here I haven't actually seen it yet okay it's actually just the bath in here so i mean you'll see that tomorrow i think it's been fitted tomorrow so yeah hopefully my nose will not be blocked tomorrow and i'll speak to you then <laughs> okay guys so bathroom reno day three 
So my voice is a little bit better today. So I thought I'd share with you what's happened today. So a lot of progress has been made today. So the three cutouts that I shared with you yesterday have now been all boxed in properly. So I think, I'm not very good with all these technical names, but I think this is plasterboard. So yeah, you can see they've all been boxed in and this is basically ready for the tiles to go on. The light cables have been pulled through and then the, the spotlight circles have been cut out ready for the lights to go in. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the sizes that we chose. It's really, really hard to envision what it's gonna look like when you're kind of just, you know, marking up a wall, but actually to see it come to life now, I'm really happy with the sizes of the, I think they're called cubby holes, actually. I don't know what I've been calling them, but yeah, I think they're called cubby holes. Um, I'm happy with the size. I think they're gonna look really nice with the bath. The bath is obviously in as well, as you can see. So this is the bath that I went for. So it's sloped at this side, and then this side is just, flapped all the way down because this side there's going to be a shower so I thought it makes sense to have it like that instead of being sloped but to be honest with you a lot of the decisions I made the guy that's doing the bathroom I'll leave his information down below it's Kamak Solutions based in Southwood and Ferris in Essex he was really helpful with everything because I'm useless basically but I was like well, what bath would look better and he was kind of explaining to me the pros and cons of everything so yeah that is the bath I went for I'll show you the taps I've gone for as well so here are the taps. It's like a waterfall sort of tap, really happy with it. And then this is where the toilet's gonna go. So he's boxed this in as well. So he has come off this wall. Um, just to add a lot of like clean lines so then he's come to here just because you want it to be as clean as possible this did not need to be this big it could have literally been this big if that makes sense but then you had like a random block in the room so he's done this to keep it all smooth and nice but yeah that is where the toilet's gonna go that is where the push button's gonna go and then this side is where the sink is gonna go and the mirror so he's reinforced all this wall put plasterboard up there's all support behind there because it's gonna be a wall hung sink unit so He's made amazing progress. I can't believe this has only been going on for three days and my whole bathroom's been ripped out and you know, a lot of the progress has been made already. So tomorrow is tiling day and also a frame is being made for the side of the bath too because that is also being tiled. So tomorrow it's really, really gonna start to come to life and I'm very excited. Okay guys, it's actually day five now. So I did miss yesterday, but yeah, I thought I'd just quickly show you they're just out for lunch at the minute. So I thought I'd just come up here and show you what's been done so far. So the tiles are being done today. So yesterday they did this. Um, so just one part of the wall and then also started it here as well and um, also yesterday the main guy called Gavin who's Kimak Solutions and um, he started making this bath panel as well so that will be tiled as well and then this is what they've done today so far so this is really intricate work and <laughs> really hard with all the cutouts I feel like it is starting to take shape now because it's always quite nerve-wracking when you get your bathroom done. <laughs> I say it like it always happens, but obviously it's the first time I've ever had it done and all the planning and everything, it's really scary when you see it come together just because, you know, it's exciting, but it's also a little bit like, oh my God, like, is it going to come together? But I feel like it's starting to come together now. So yeah, that is what's been done so far today. I think they're, well, they've got still quite a lot to do, but they, I think they may be finishing up the tiling today. So if they do, I'll share it with you. And then I think grouting will happen tomorrow. So it's now the end of day five. So all this back bit here has been tiled now. So that's where the toilet's gonna go. And then this bit here, I think I might have shown that, but um, that's just getting finished up as well. So in the back of these, there's actually gonna be mirror. So, um, but it is tiled first and the mirror just goes on top of it. But yeah, I have officially got a chest infection guys. So, so that is why I've been ill all week. <laughs> So excuse my voice, but that is the progress so far. Hey guys, so excuse my appearance. I've literally just got in from work. It has been a very long day. I did my makeup literally like 14 hours ago, so I've lost most of it now. But um, it's week two now of the bathroom renovation. The first time you're actually seeing me because I was really ill last week. I literally was ill for about eight days straight. So I'm better now. Um, so I thought it was time I showed my face in this vlog finally. So I'm gonna share with you the updates so far. So we're now week two. I think it's day six. I didn't show the last day of the tiles being done, but I'm gonna show you what's been done so far and talk you through it. So, excuse the noise, the extractor fan is on. So basically, it's hopefully that's not too distracting. But yeah, this is the tile situation. So the tiling has nearly all been done now. So, so chuffed with the tiles, guys. Honestly, I'm so happy I went for this shiny tile. I will be doing another video once the bathroom is completely done, like a bathroom tour. And I'll be talking through the names of everything if you're interested interested in where I got it from, what it's called, etc. So yeah, stay tuned for that, which will be coming on my channel shortly. Um, and I'll talk you through like the tile 
names and stuff like that because I'm sure I'll get some questions. But as you can see, I went for these really big marble tiles and yeah, I'm really chuffed. The lights are now in as well and I just think it really brightens the room and just looks so bright and airy and spacious. Exactly what I was looking for. The side of the bath has been built, but we're still waiting for that to be tiled just because we ran out of tiles basically. So we're just waiting for more ones to be collected and then popped on the walls. This honestly, guys, has been a real hard job for them because the house is so wonky. For example, the door frame is wonky. So if you notice anything like that, it's literally the house. Um, and like this still needs grouting. So don't worry about anything like that. It's just the process of a bathroom being done. It's obviously finishing touches and things like that. Um, he's gonna seal in all the tops of the tiles and stuff as well. So yeah, there's lots of little, if you drop my phone on the floor, then it hasn't even got a case on it. And um, there's lots of little bits and bobs like that to be done. So he fitted the shower today. So went for a really posh shower, which I'm really excited about. I'm not gonna touch it because I don't think it's all plumbed in properly for drainage drainage purposes but we've gone for this digital shower very expensive guys this was like a big chunk of the cost actually but i just like it because it saves all the mess that you get here normally so you know like all the pipes and stuff you get just keeps it looking a lot cleaner having this sort of you know system so i'm really happy with it it's from a brand called aqualisa and yeah you literally just touch it and it you know you can turn it with your finger and stuff to go hot or cold so just a lot smarter looking and cleaner looking than what you'd normally get and then the shower head has also gone in today and then also the extractor fan and there's a huge extractor box in the loft now like a huge one um because the extractor we had before was really bad it didn't ventilate at all in the bathroom but this one is meant to be really really good it's like a huge box that is in the loft basically so guys i just wanted to include this because basically this is our airing cupboard and a not exactly sure what this is but it's to help with the shower i think so that has been put in here but i just wanted to show this because gavin has actually really shown me up because he's actually folded everything up for us which i thought was really cute i was not expecting that came in this cupboard just now to put the laundry away to a lovely folded cupboard and he's even put little cushions here for us <laughs> so i wanted to share with you my beautiful sink unit as well guys obviously this isn't going to be installed just yet but i'm so excited for this to go up it's literally exactly what i was looking for so it's a really good size i think it is 800 this way so yeah i'm really really happy with it i believe it is called dove gray i think but i'll link it in the description box down below but this was actually really kindly gifted by a brand called drench and they do so many beautiful pieces for your bathroom you can get loads of different vanity units like this one taps loads of different things so literally all your bathroom needs they'll have some stunning pieces on there and you could just see this looks so lovely i love the size of the sink it's a really good big sink it's not too deep either but i, I don't know i just love it. it's literally exactly what i envisioned for the bathroom i just wanted something really modern really sleek but i also really like it. it's got this little frame around the edge as well and it pushes like that to open. So this is the first drawer. Obviously it's the U, because that is where the pipes and stuff will go, I believe. And you just push it to close. And then the second drawer is, I mean, I can't open it because this is in the way, but it's a full drawer. So I'll show you better, obviously when it's in the bathroom, but yeah, it's the perfect color gray. I can't explain what color it is, but it's just a really nice gray. It's just, yeah, it's, no, I think it's called French gray actually. French gray is what it's called, but I'm so chuffed with it. Hey guys and good morning. Sorry I've not picked up the camera on this vlog in, well you wouldn't have known because obviously you know watch it now but it's been about a week or so since I last put the camera up so I thought I'll just quickly pick it up and update you. Just literally <laughs> rushed to get ready this morning. My hair is a little bit wild. But anyway my camera actually is about to die so I'm going to be really really quick but basically we've had a slight delay because the tiles I chose they're not the best quality so basically consider this if you're going for like a shiny tile so the coating on the tile was so thin that when they're being cut it kept chipping basically so there was quite a few tiles when the grout was put on around here let me just quickly show you i'm not sure if it will show up or not but when the grout was put on it basically highlighted um the chipping on these tiles because like i say the quality of them is really bad so yeah i've been like in discussion with the tiler for the last week or so just about what to do um been quite a few different tools he was trying out and none of them were working um i think he spoke to like different tilers and stuff and they've all had the same problems with these tiles so yeah like i say be careful with these tiles if you do want to go for them they're called victoria tiles by al marad and anyway so we kind of came to the conclusion right let's just do a feature wall so we we're going to rip out that whole back wall start again which obviously is a big job and a big risk and we got some samples and then i kind of just had a bit of a wobble and i was like actually i don't know like 
you know the design I originally went for was all marble that is the vibe I really want in the bathroom especially on that back wall because it's gonna look really nice with like the mirrors and stuff I just was a little bit anxious about going for a feature wall so I said like please 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 can you try and find a way of making these tiles work um so he did a bit more research and he has found a tool that will cut the tiles which is amazing so finally they can be sorted out um so yeah he's back today there's been like a little bit of a delay because obviously all of this has taken a week or so so no progress has been made the last week and I've like been out at work and stuff as well so they can come round so yeah we've had a little bit of a delay it's all good though like it is what it is I'd rather have a bit of a delay and get the bathroom right than like rush through and make a decision I wasn't happy with so yeah decided against the feature wall in the end you might have seen it on my Instagram home account um because I was asking you guys opinions but yeah I just kind of felt a bit funny about it because I thought if just one wall is a feature wall what if it doesn't match the rest of the bathroom and then the colour of the feature wall was going to be lighter than the sink unit because I was anxious to go too dark on that wall to match the sink unit. And yeah, it was just too much of a risk. And I thought I'd rather play it safe. Like it could have looked really nice. It may have paid off. And who knows, it might have even looked nicer than having just an all marble bathroom. But I just didn't want to take the risk. So it's just one of those things. So guys, it's the next day now. I thought I'd just show you an update. So the extractor fan is on, so sorry if it's a little bit noisy. But here is the progress for today. So the side has gone on the bath now. Obviously it will need um, grouting, but yeah, I'm really happy with how that looks at the side of the bath. I just think it looks really, I don't know, just clean. And I like how the floor runs up the side. And yeah, I'm really happy about that. The last little bit we'll need doing tomorrow. So basically this panel here is smaller because this has been cut specially so if the taps ever need to be worked on this bit could just be popped off so this one will be masticked in whereas these are grouted so um yeah that just means that side can come off really really smoothly and easily to you know if any work ever needs doing to the taps so that's basically that and then on this bit here these four tiles have been taken off so i was saying yesterday and my um battery died actually but I was basically telling you guys about the chipping issue that we had so yeah them four tiles have been taken off and then they'll be replaced tomorrow the um tiles that we are using i mentioned basically the box of tiles were all smashed so honestly we've had so many issues with these tiles it has been ridiculous so yeah i'm just really hoping that they send a good box of tiles tomorrow um, and then them tiles will go on tomorrow to finish this area off the tiles will also need to go up there as well so just you know that hasn't been done yet so that will need popping on there and then the last little bit needs doing around the door and then all the tiling will finally be done which feels like has been going on for literally a lifetime so that'll be really great to get that all wrapped up and then once the tiling's done the job is nearly finished so yeah like there's not actually too much left to do once the tiling's done literally the mirror needs popping on the wall the sink needs popping up toilet will need like fixing in but i think it's literally about a day's work once the tiling's done so yeah i feel like the actual tiling and all of that and obviously the build in the back bit is the main part of the job but the actual fixtures and everything are really really like quick and easy to do so yeah it has just been a real shame that the tile issues have come to light because if they hadn't i think the job was so on track to be finished really really quickly i think it was going to be done ahead of schedule i think it was meant to be two weeks originally and then the time went so quick initially that it was on track to be done in about a week and a half but time it's done because of all these issues it has delayed it but it's just one of those things like it can't be helped at the end of the day and when you're having issues with suppliers and things like that and the quality of products it is what it is so we don't mind like you know we're grateful that we've got another shower to use and stuff like that it's a bit annoying at night time going downstairs to use the toilet but you know it is what it is like you know these things happen so yeah i'm excited to see the bathroom all finished and tiled hopefully tomorrow and then we can finish off next week finally and then have the reveal hey guys so it is sunday today and the tiles have almost been finished well they have been finished off today just the grouting needs doing now so i'll quickly spin you around and show you um every time i come on this vlog i just something is wrong with my appearance so i've been filming for youtube all day today so my makeup is coming off it always seems to come off around my chin anyway let's ignore that so the side of the bath i think it might have been done actually last time i showed you but yeah all of this is to be grouted so that has been done and then up this wall has now been done around the door this like i might have said this before but this house is quite wonky where it's an old house so i don't know if you can see it like slopes down like that so with this part here for example it yeah literally just chip into the wall to put the tile up there is a slight gap there it's just one of them hard situations really because um the walls in this house are just really really wonky so you can't really get 
the lines perfect around like an area like the door for example but yeah anyway so the tiles were replaced on this back bit here them four tiles that i mentioned the other day that chipped they don't seem to look chipped um obviously we'll see once the grout goes on if they've come up better but actually guys something interesting is that uh, the place that we got the tiles from has now discontinued selling these tiles because they've had so many complaints over the last couple of weeks. I think when I got them, they'd just come into stock and um, yeah, they must have had a lot of complaints because they've now been discontinued. So that's interesting. So I don't recommend getting these tiles because you'll probably have a lot of issues. I think they're still trying to shift their last stock, but um, yeah, there's definitely like issues, like I say, with all the chipping and stuff. Hey guys, so it is Monday today and the bathroom has nearly been finished. There's literally about half a day's work left, they said. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's coming along. It feels like today everything has come together. So I'm gonna share it with you. Um, yeah, you can tell by my face, I'm really excited. Like it just looks so good and it's not even done yet. So today a dimmer switch has been put on, the lights. How do I work them? I feel like I'm being stupid. Why can't I get them to turn on? There we go. So the lights can dim all the way down. That's really nice. Because I found when they were like that, they were just too bright. So it's nice to like be able to just dim them down slightly. The door is back on as well. So my sink unit is in, which just looks so nice. I'm so happy with it. So thank you again to Drench for gifting this. Honestly, it's amazing. It's exactly what I wanted. It's a wall hung sink unit. So you've got all the space underneath, which I wanted because this bathroom isn't the biggest bathroom. So I wanted it to be as spacious and nice as it possibly could be. So having something that was wall hung, I just felt like just kind of kept that space. I know like you're not going to use this space for anything, but do you know what I mean? When you look like this, it just looks more airy. So I'm so happy with the sink. It looks amazing. And then my tap as well. I love my tap. I don't know if it's, oh, it is fully functioning. We've gone for like a waterfall sort of tap as well, as you can see. So I love that. It's like the modern curved tap, so nice. And then my mirror is on and the mirror turns on. Oh, I love it, guys. This is exactly the mirror I wanted. It syncs to your phone as well, Bluetooth. So that is gonna be so exciting. <laughs> um, this back bit is still yet to be done. The toilet is in as well. I like the toilet, a bit of a weird thing to say, but yeah, I like the toilet. And then the push thing just needs to go on. All the grout's been done. You will see grout that has just freshly been done is this color, right? So it's very dark. Whereas grout that is dried is this color. Yeah, wow, that's so much lighter, isn't it? So yeah, grout that is dry just dries so light compared to fresh grout. So that's just something to consider. And um, because when it was first done, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> the grout is so dark but it really does dry a lot lighter. So that is positive. Like I said before, Mira is gonna be putting these back bits, but the lights have gone in as well. Really happy with those. There is gonna be chrome trim, like trim, like cap thing that's put around the lights. So they will look more modern once it's finished. Um, obviously this, I wouldn't necessarily like the like six squares, but these, uh, like if it was, you know, just to be left like this, just cause that looks a bit busy, doesn't it, compared to this although he has followed the lines, but it's just been done like this because the glass is gonna be put over the top, so you won't ever see this. This is just done as like a back bit. It's all coming together at last. So hopefully the next vlog, oh, and the glass panel's been put on the side of the bath. Hey guys, so the bathroom is very, very, very nearly finished. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what has been done today. I won't bore you with showing you the whole thing again, um, but all the masticking has been done today. It absolutely stinks in here <laughs> because um, I've cracked the window because it just stinks of like chemicals, obviously where it's set in. But anyway, the mastic has been done. So we've got gray mastic around like the windows and stuff to match the grouting. So I love that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, we're in here as well today without the extractor fan on, which is nice. <laughs> it is quite loud. But yeah, I love that. And then he's popped white grout. I say grout, wait, mastic, sorry. White mastic around the window to match the window. Now I hate this glass. It was something that I planned on changing actually before having the bathroom done, but I just didn't get around to it. So that is something I would probably like, quite like to change just because I do think it looks very dated and it's not really in line with the bathroom. But anyway, hey ho, we move. So that is that. And then the push plate has been put on the back of the toilet, which I absolutely love. Just looks so modern, exactly what I was looking for. And then like the mastic around the loo has been done, the mastic around the bottom of the bath has been done. Like all the mastic has basically been done today. 
um, and here yeah, like around the bath. So you have to put water in the bath to get it to sink because obviously it's heavier with the water in to be able to mastic the bath. I didn't know that. So yeah, a little fact for you guys for today. And that has to stay in there for 24 hours. So no bath for me tonight. Cannot wait to have bath though. It's been too long. And then all the chrome has been put on the lights as well, as you can see, which I love. It just looks so nice. It really ties it together. And I don't know if I showed it, but the toilet roll holder is also on, which I went for like a square one. So I was basically trying to go for everything quite similar, like, you know, all square sort of objects. So yeah, I think that's all worked out really nicely. So it is all finished guys. Look at the mirror. So the mirror was added on yesterday and I am so, so happy with it. It just looks absolutely stunning. Honestly, so, so, so pleased. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I will do a proper um, bathroom like tour because we need to get bits and pieces, so, you know, like soap dispenser and stuff like that. So once all that is here, I will do a proper bathroom tour so you can see it all properly, like nice. But yeah, I just wanted to wrap up this vlog. But yeah, so, so pleased with it, guys. It looks amazing. So guys, that is the end of the bathroom video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Do stay tuned for my bathroom tour, which will be going live really soon. I just need to pick out a few bits and pieces, such as like the soap dispenser, etc., and kind of just decorate it in that sense. And then I'll do a proper bathroom tour so you can see it all together. But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed watching this. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up as well. And stay tuned for all my future interior content. And until then, I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.